Golam Perwer, the Secretary General of Jamaat e Islami, has been detained for three days. In a case involving the assault on the Baitul Mukarram National Mosque on September 7 last year, Jamaat e Islami Secretary Mir General Golam Perwer has been put on a three day detention. Perwer, 63, will be questioned by police about the assault on worshippers at the mosque's north entrance after Jummah prayers on that day. At the court of Dhaka Additional Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Arsad Uj Jama Noor on Monday, officers from Pilton Police Station requested a 10-day detention to question Perwer. SM Kumar Lagin, Perwer's lawyer, requested bail that the remand be lifted, however his request was denied during the hearing. Thousands of Jamaat e Islami, Shahadra Shabir, BNP, and Hifarsat e Islam activists, headed by Hifarsat leader Maulana Mamunul Haq, came for a protest on the day of the event, according to Khandake Rarafuj Jaman, one of the plaintiffs in the Anti Terror Act lawsuit. The activists planned to disrupt official festivities commemorating the country's golden jubilee of independence and the birth centennial of Bangabund Us Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, to which international heads of state were invited. According to their plan, activists assembled with local sharp weapons, rifles, and batons to assault the plaintiffs and other devotees, badly hurting them. They also lobbed several cocktail bombs into the throng and fired two or three rounds of gunfire. In addition, the crowd set fire to two motorbikes and pillaged surrounding businesses. According to the prosecution, the defendants gathered in secret to discuss a takeover of the government and prepared to disseminate rumors before they attacked. The police stated it was required to question Perwer over suspicions of fostering unrest, funding the plot, and delivering cocktail bombs and other explosives.